You know what I'm really in the mood for right now? Like a good, good old bloody carnival horror movie, you know? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Now that's more like it. Bloodfest stars Robbie K, Seychelle Gabrielle, and is directed by Owen Egerton. What is up guys, it's time for a review of a, I guess a newer movie, even though this movie came out a couple years ago. Um, recently I did my Horror Pack unbox, and one of the movies that uh, was in the Horror Pack, so there's a plug for Horror Pack for you, was Bloodfest. And immediately my reaction to this movie was, this looks really interesting. And then I thought back, oh yeah, that's right, there was a movie that came out around the same time as Hellfest, and a lot of people were actually telling me, uh, check out Bloodfest. I think you might like that better than Hellfest if you didn't like Hellfest. And, you know, it came and went and I never got around to watching it. So thank you, Horror Pack, for including this in the March uh, edition. And uh, I watched this. Do it on the other night. And you know what? They were right. I had a blast. A freaking blast with this movie, actually. So much so that I, I slipped it into my review schedule. I wanted to tell you guys about this movie if you haven't seen it. I think it does what every fun horror movie should strive to do. And by fun horror movie, I mean movies like, I guess, Shaun of the Dead, even though that's really more in the comedy zone. But you know what I mean by fun horror movies? Movies that you just sit back, have your popcorn, don't don't think too hard on them. They're not too crazy. At the end of the day, you're just having a blast. Kind of like Final Destination. That's what this is. And it happens to be a carnival horror movie, which is a bonus for me because movies like The Fun House uh, are great. You know, The Fun House, I think, is still the one to beat. This is close to as good as The Fun House, though. I will give it that, actually. So anyway, at the beginning of this movie, there is a murder. This character named Dax... Uh, we see him when he's a young child, and he watches his mother get murdered by this mask killer. Uh, and so, obviously, that traumatizes him. But one thing that it does to him is it makes him uh, kind of obsessed with horror movies. And trauma can affect people in a million different ways. So that's definitely something I could buy, you know, that he became obsessed with horror movies. And maybe that was because this killer had a mask. Uh, he looked like something right out of a horror movie. And I guess Dax was just never able to let that go. So fast forward to the present day and we see D Dax and he gets this ticket to Bloodfest, which he's really excited for. He's going to go hang out with his friends. And, you know, I went to Halloween Horror Nights uh, for the, like the last two years now. And it's always a blast, you know. It's like a convention because, you know, conventions are like horror fans getting together it's like a reunion for horror fans even though they've never met each other before so that really made no sense but it's just like a big get together that's kind of what these horror carnivals are like as well so this movie doesn't waste any time once they get to blood fest there is this uh this mc that comes out and he introduces everybody kind of like what tony todd was in hellfest i guess that's the one up of hellfest over this tony todd even though he should have been used a lot more in that movie if he would have been in this movie, wow, that would have been amazing because this guy was only okay. But what he sets up is pretty cool because all these people are going to be part of an actual real life horror movie. And so he brings up these two people on stage and he literally kills them. Has this mask killer come out with the same mask as the one that killed Dax's mother. Ladies, meet Red. and kills these two characters right in front of everybody. And so um, most of the reactions are laughter and cheering because they don't think it's real. But then all these um, horror characters come out of the woodwork, some with chainsaws, with axes, with everything you can imagine. And this is really like one of the biggest bloodbaths of the movie. You know, it's just a slaughter and they just kill all these people. And there's a lot of blood. And right away, I was like, okay, this is what Hellfest was. And I'm not saying Hellfest should have been exactly like I'm thinking it should have been. But I just wanted more blood in Hellfest. And I didn't get that at all. Whereas this scene right here gave me ten times more blood than all of Hellfest. And this is like within the first 20 minutes of the movie. And it's pretty creative stuff, too. I mean, there's one where the, the chainsaw goes right down the middle of one of the characters. And you see their body just get filleted. 
So one thing I really loved about this movie is how it sets up and honors all these different horror worlds, you know? You're gonna see areas of the park that are reminiscent of like Saw, and then you got like a vampire section, uh, you got a zombie section, and then they even have like rage virus people. So this separates zombies from rage virus. So it keeps everybody happy. And I will say, like all those sections of the movie are really fun. My favorite is probably the vampire section. Dax's best friend, Krill, uh, who you might remember from the Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. He's the annoying best friend of Peter Parker. Well, I actually like him better in this movie, actually. But it's kind of funny because he's talking to this girl. She's a vampire. And by the way, they explain their conditions because, of course, this is in our world. Uh, there are no vampires. But they provide like a justification, maybe a, a medical reason, whatever, to get you there, you know? Even if it's like via electrocution, of course you do have to exercise your suspension of disbelief, but it's enough for us to buy it and then move on. But he's talking to this girl who's pretty much like a vampire because of an experiment that was cast upon her. And uh, you see in the background while he's talking to her, like uh, all these guys getting eaten by the vampires. And it's kind of funny. But that scene also reminded me of like the werewolf scene in Trick or Treat, which is also like one of my favorite scenes in that movie. Also, the saw scene was actually pretty fun too because it utilizes these two boxes that are like stuck on the victim's hands, you know, and they can't get out. And the only way they can get out is like, like if another person uh, lets them out, but then they gotta be stuck in the boxes. So that was a fun section of the movie. But really the big thing that you need to know about this movie is that it honors so much in the way of like horror and all the things we love about the genre. You're going to see so many Easter eggs, so many winks and nods to everything. Also, I was a little scared that this was going to look kind of low budget, but it doesn't at all actually. It looks very well done. Shot digitally, of course, you can obviously tell that. Uh, I would say Hellfest ups it just a little bit in the production value, you know, especially in like the cinematography, but still just barely like this still looks great it looks really great actually and i've much much preferred the characters in this over hellfest and i'm sorry if i keep comparing this to hellfest but you you almost kind of have to now tate donovan actually plays uh, dax's father he's a doctor and he does play a big part in this without giving any spoilers away but let me just say if i jump into the cons a little bit it does get a little bit too scooby dooey at the end where they bring out this final reveal and then it's almost like too much you're like oh my god are you serious it was still entertaining but it almost brought it into like like caricature world instead of you know reality plus you're thinking to yourself how in the hell could they ever get away with this you know killing all these people without any kind of repercussions whatsoever i'm not buying it but guys, I cannot recommend Bloodfest enough. Uh, I'm definitely going to give this a purchase worthy. Definitely one that I'll probably watch like every October. It's a great Halloween movie. Uh, if you can still get the March Horror Pack, I would jump on there right now so you can get this or just buy it from Amazon. A lot of fun though. Uh, if you've seen Bloodfest, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Which one do you prefer, this one or Hellfest? Um, also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for on Fridays. Follow me at Dum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And rum them out.